Whiskey, Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I'm in Ireland. Today I have from J.J. Corey, The Cross. The Cross is a blend of 40% malt and 60% Irish grain whiskey finished in an IPA seasoned American oak cask. 102 bottles. Rare and exotic. I have bottle number 53, batch number 1, 43% alcohol by volume, summer 2020. It's interesting. This was just made for the German market. Um, www.irish-whiskies with an S dot D-E for Deutschland, which is Germany. I'm Mareike Spitzer. She actually filled up this bottle um, in cooperation with Louise here from J.J. Corey, Chapelgate Whiskies. So um, 0.5 liters. 60 euros, whiskey base number 100, um, 162333. All right, so first of all, we know that the IPA cask is American oak, yay. Second of all, we know that it actually came here from um, Blue Jumper, Indian Pale Ale, Western um, Hand Brewing. So that's very, very nice. Now, what I further know is actually that this is part two of something Marika actually did last year. So Marika was in the tasting or blending rooms here of the um, JJ Corey of Chapel, Chapel Gate in Ireland. And she actually made a bottling. I hope I put this up here. If I forgot, I'm sorry. Um, it's called the Irish Whiskey Freunde um, bottling. And that was for the Facebook group that she and I actually lead um, for the Irish Whiskey Friends. And so um, back then, um, J.J. Corey was still allowed to actually put a pie diagram on there and actually show the percentage of the different whiskeys in this um, bottling. Now, um, Irish, Irish Distiller um, Limited, um, IDL, actually said, nope. We don't want that much transparency. Same thing with Compass Box. Remember, John Glazer tried to put down everything and it wasn't allowed on the label. So now she actually has to just kind of be a little bit vague about what's on there. Um, but I still do have the old bottle of the, um, at least I have a picture of the old bottle. I threw away the bottle because I only had this much left and I did want it to be airtight in a big bottle with so much air in there. I do know that the 60% grain was from 2016. That was cast number 6839. So this has four-year-old grain in it. This is about three and a half. And it also had 40% malt, which means it was 15% was from cast 16444, which was also from 2016. And now, hold your horses, 25% um, percent of this whiskey as in this and in that bottle was from 2002, which means it's 18 years old, which is very, very, very old for Irish whiskey. That was cast number 11236. So, therefore, we have the 40% malt, we have the 60% grain together, boom, and they were all in ex-bourbon casks. Those three. Now, she put um, part of it into the first bottling for Irish Whiskey Freunde, and the second bottling, she actually um, put that in the IPA cask and now brought it out. Um, 43%, 46%. Very interesting. The angels stole 3% of the alcohol. All right, I'm going to nose this first. There's a nice butterscotch, there's a nice grain moment, there's a nice um, buttery type of vanilla maltiness in here. Very, very nice. Over here, ooh, I'm not a beer drinker. My confession has now been made. Um, I'm, I'm not a big fan of um, stout, and I'm definitely not a big fan of IPA. And so if I smell an IPA, it's like, ah, I get a nice um, citrus type of lemony note on top of a lot of maltiness. Um, what was really, really funny was I was watching the Belfast Whiskey Week, and there was Anna, uh, or Anne, um, from the uh, Jameson. She's the one of the European, if not the global, brand ambassador. And she talked about the Jameson IPA, and she said, um, Irish Pale Ale. And I went, huh? And she said, Irish Pale Ale. I went to the website for Jameson, it says Irish Pale Ale. Now, um, everyone outside of Ireland knows that it's an India pale ale. The British soldiers actually made that to take to India, and they put it a higher percentage of alcohol, that beer, so that it would actually not spoil on the way over. And then when it arrived in India, the people were like, this is so good. Why should we water it down? Just keep it the way it is. Uh, and for some reason, the people in Ireland thought, oh, it's an I-R-A. Why not just call it Irish 
pale ale. I'm not really sure about that. Okay, but at least here we have the Indian pale ale here, which I thought was very, very nice. All right, and so um, the pale ale moment here is um, definitely taking over. <laughs> if you like that, that's going to be great. All right, so I'm going to try this first. Mm -hmm. The original. <sighs> nice and then boop and then boop. So first of all, it's a nice fruity, buttery, uh, multi type of moment. And then the alcohol kicks in and then the alcohol kicks in again. And it gets almost a little bit metallic. It's not the best of a um, aftertaste here. The finish is not really doing it for me. Going over the IPA, it's a pleasant nose. It has a lot more character, depth, complexity than the um, Irish Whiskey Freunde. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Almost nice, and then... Bam! It's like someone poured a little bit of um, beer in my mouth. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. As I said, I am not a beer drinker. <laughs> um, yeah. I, it was like, oh, this is very, very nice. And then, whoops. <laughs> this, is, this does exactly what it's supposed to do. This is a C-plus whiskey. Um, it has gotten better with a half, almost half a year of further maturation in the IPA cask. I think it might have been four months. Okay. Um, it's got a little bit more complexity. The IPA really did its job. It's got that kick at the end. If that's what you're looking for, this would be a bottle you would love. Hmm. 104 bottles gone like that online. She actually put it online on, I think it was a Monday evening. It might have been a Friday evening at 10 p.m. And it was sold out within... A very, very short time within hours. Um, over here, we have the Irish Whiskey Freunde, about the same amount of bottles, also just for Germany. I think that's actually great. This is very, very nice that we in Germany <laughs> get to have Irish whiskey that people can't buy in Ireland. Um, I actually have from J.J. Corey um, a video online for the J.J. Corey Bonders Blenders, um, Bonded Blenders number two and number three. And every once in a while, a couple times, uh, a quarter, uh, every three months, I get an email. Hey, Whiskey Jason, still have that bottle of the Bonders, blend, Bonders Blender from J.J. Corey? I'll give you 1,200 euros. And I was, uh, I paid 100 for it. I was like, uh, um, but I don't. I'm sorry. Um, so, and um, that's the way it is here as well, because there are some people in Ireland that want to have the complete collection of J.J. Corey, which means that they have to somehow in the secondary market get bottles from Germany which is for them a pain in the butt, but I think it's kind of cool that we in Germany get bottles of Irish whiskey no one gets in Ireland. I guess it's the same feeling um, in America. There's hundreds of brands of Irish whiskey that you can't buy in Ireland either. So I guess the circle um, <laughs> actually is just completes itself. All right, thank you very much. Um, value for money, I think the price is okay. It's 60 euros for a half liter bottle because of the uniqueness, because of the limitness, not because of the juice in here. All right. Um, if I were going to actually give a price that I would be willing to pay for this would be 39 euros for the half liter bottle. Even a little bit less would be the perfect price. But hey, I'm not making the prices and someone else is going to pay hundreds of euros probably for this on the secondary market. And that sometimes has to be considered. All right. Very, very good. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany, giving this a th um, C plus and a C minus for the value for money. Thank you very much for watching. Question of the day is, what is your favorite Irish whiskey? And second question is, what is your favorite Irish whiskey from J.J. Corey, if you can answer that? All right. So there are so many different expressions out there. The Gale, um, too, I actually like a lot from J.J. Corey. That was very, very well done, by the way. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, tell others. Um, share the video if you'd be so kind, and I will see you soon. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.